What's up guys, your boy TBC, I'm back and I'm my and today's Sonic Force video, I'm just going to give you guys some important information that I've been wanting to know and you guys have been wanting to know too regarding the release of Sonic Forces. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, shout out to Sonic Stadium for basically providing this information and I'm going to read the article to you guys and let me know what you basically think. According to reports coming out of Gamescom, Sonic Forces will be released on November 7th. 2017. This is supported by the newest issue of Famitsu or Famatsu, which quotes the game is being released on November 9th in Japan. So basically, we have kind of confirmed information. I, Sega hasn't exactly came out and confirmed it yet, but it's good to know that we basically know that games will come out somewhere in November and might be the 7th and it might be the 9th. It said 9th in Japan, but still. It's a good feeling to basically know that this game is going to come out in November. Kind of figure it's going to come out in November. Most of the Sonic 3D games have been coming around, coming out in November, so that's kind of good to know. And also on a side note too, I'm going to talk about a question that you guys have been asking me a lot, and it's about my opinions of the tag team gameplay we got the other day. And it looks really, really interesting. And I'm kind of shocked that I was hoping for maybe a two-player sort of thing, but they, they, I see they obviously went with the whole Donkey Kong Country kind of thing where you know you basically tag in and tag out characters you know if one can't get through a certain thing or it might be easier to get another character to go through basically like Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong get a Donkey Kong Country which you know I'm okay with that I, I really wish that it, it was a two-player sort of thing or kind of like a you control character kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog 2 or Sonic Four to be exact but hey you know taking that sort of gameplay route and making you off between two characters that's all fine and dandy too i just wish you know i would prefer it that way but it's high speed action i like how sonic is going through things obviously your custom character is using the wisp ability through the gun which i'm hoping and i'm praying that you can at least do some of the abilities like I'm, I'm more like i mean sure obviously you're gonna be using gear and tech parts and stuff like that but that's that's my that's that's for my home skill of tails to be doing you know like I've all, tails is a person for stuff like that and but you know who knows I, I guess i'm cool with it like i said it doesn't really bother me anything like that but once again and and maybe you're able to i know you can do i would maybe like to see you able to play as classic sonic doing that same thing if you can do that of course I know some people aren't going to want that, you know, it's just it's a chance to use your original character to be tagging along with Sonic, so I know a lot of people are excited about that, and I'm not trying to take that away from you, I think it's unique, I think it's cool, it might be mandatory though, because it's on the main screen, or it might be a mode, I'm not entirely sure about that, if you guys know, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below, but I really personally think it might just be a mode of play, or it just might be something you have to do to progress to the story, like maybe classic sonic and your character or mar and sonic and your character have to do things together because one has the ability and one can do we never know so i'm looking forward to that and last but not least are the screenshots we got and the first one we're looking at here is basically the whole uh the, the created character basically it seems like sonic's trying to reach i don't know i don't really know what's going on here but obviously that's a new stage i do believe and i do like how the rabbit character is flying which also lets you know that it's kind of like a cream sort of feel if you will with this character so that's kind of the thing that i noticed immediately when i first saw this one and i kind of i can tell like since sonic has the path of the rings he can light speed dash to get to higher areas versus giving you so it, it kind of gives you um, the choice of basically you can fly across there or this from my point of view, you can fly across there or maybe you can light speed dash across there which I think that's pretty cool giving you the option to go both or you could fly and collect the rings which I think it just adds more it adds a different kind of diversity if that makes any sense regarding that but on to the next one the uh, OC basically using the ability of the whiz to create fire or using the gadgets if you will to create fire L leave us the gadgets not really nothing too surprising there you know we, we, what you see is what you get regarding that one and, the, and this one has it has to be like one of my favorite ones Sonic and your OC just boosting through the characters like I, I mean boosting through Eggman or the evil forces robots for let's call it like what it is Eggman robots which honestly was one of the best things in the screenshots really and it just it, if you just look at this game graphically though and this is what really catches my attention regarding these screenshots it's like just seeing this game like, like you can see the sound barrier being broken as you're speeding by like this is one of the highlights of this game that I really just like the graphics are just so amazing the hedgehog engine is just so you can tell it's pushed to its limit here well I, I I personally think the Sonic has never looked so good before like I 
elsewhere. And this one in particular here is basically why I believe you're actually activating the whole tag team boost mechanic. Which I do hope that, and I'm pretty sure that the game does just slow down. You see that attack action going on. You get ready to both speed up. One of the things I really do like about the OC is the fact that it doesn't matter who you pick, you're going to be able to go really, really fast, which is the biggest point of freaking Sonic. So honestly, I really like the vibe they were going for that one. And graphically, and look at the checkpoint system in the background. Like, they just hit that checkpoint, dude. It's like freaking fresh, man. <laughs> But basically, that's about it uh, regarding the screenshots. There are maybe like one or two, but I'm not even going to bother to try to figure out what the other ones are saying. But uh, you little guys, let me know in the comment section below what you basically think about the release date. What you basically think about the gameplay and what you think about the screenshots. I'd love to hear what you guys think regarding this. On this show, we cover a lot of Sonic Forces news, discussions, or any interviews or anything just coming out with this game. You want to help me up by hitting the like button. Helps out some greatly. Support your boy tremendously. Don't forget really to get to leave a comment down and let me know what you think below. Larry guys, have an amazing weekend. Spawn every time you're viewing this video. Keep your seatbelt on when you drive, man. And don't talk to strangers. Everybody wants to keep the candy. You have an amazing day. Later, the man nation. Bad guys, peace. Yes. The flames are properly sealed. It's done. You're going to leave it behind? Yes. I already know what becomes of it in the future. It's time to return. Yes, of course. Chaos Control! Control! It's a lucky charm. No, yeah, I do a little black screen talk. Um, quick few things to note. Uh, obviously. No, you can't light speed dash, but there's a wisp with basically the same exact ability. I don't exactly know what that wisp is called. Deeply apologize for that. But maybe that's Sonic's way or, or this game's way of saying there's different paths. You, you can choose either do certain whips or uh, I, I personally think that's this game's interpretation of it. But obviously you are controlling your OC and controlling Sonic and you're swapping him or her out or swapping for Sonic at will. Which I think is pretty cool. Obviously, the game got that. It's got that really high speed thing, though. The double boost and the theme playing. I'm not the biggest fan of fist pump, honestly. I think Infinite Theme is hype, but I'm not a big fan of fist pump. Also, to on the side note, um, I heard the metal uh, Sonic boss theme, which I think that one's pretty all right. Um, e each character or each boss fight has their own little theme to it. I think that'll be really just awesome, though. I would like the uh, what I'm made of to actually play. I think that would have been really, really good regarding the Sonic Metal Sonic boss fight, you know, from Sonic Heroes. They should remix that. Or in Shadows, you know, freaking have, because you know, Shadow has like so many different themes. It's ridiculous. But uh, or Chaos is open your heart. You know, those themes really don't specifically belong to those characters. I think they would have been really cool to play. Or you remix their themes. 
like the final boss for Chaos, which they, they may go that route, but I want you guys also to let you know that, yeah, I have seen the Mel Sonic thing. Um, it, I didn't really think it was that important to make a video over just yet, but you got a lot of you were saying, hey, TBC, so I wanted, it, I wanted to address that here, but you guys have an amazing day. I'm going to hit that outro, or TBC that outro. Peace out, y'all, yo, y'all, yo, yo. stay blessed. Later, <laughs> Banana Nation, y'all. Y'all are freaking awesome, but yeah, I wanted to relay that to y'all, but peace out.